What's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where I'm going to be giving you my opinion on the upcoming ninja attack update coming to Rise of Kingdoms. So I actually ran a poll over on the community tab and it looks like most of you guys wanted me to cover this and kind of give you guys my like thoughts and opinions. So if you guys didn't see that, that means you're probably not subscribed. Make sure you subscribe, click the bell, all that good stuff. But first, cheers. Now I do apologize about the lack of uh, videos for this past week. I didn't have time to make any before I left for LA. I was there for like a week um, and I just didn't make any content while I was there. I didn't have my computer or anything like that. And before we jump into the upcoming update and the patch notes, let's open up some of these chests because I've got the free chests here and then we've got a couple of gold keys so we're just gonna rip through these we're gonna see what we get we're obviously looking for some legendary blueprint fragments here but really we're looking for Mulan please potentially we've only got <laughs> she's like five one or something like that so we've got a really long way to go for uh, for her and it looks like we're gonna get ripped off again oh, okay we got some two we got two all said i'll take the two all said that's that's what we're here for okay we osman relax we don't need you here that's that's fine um are we getting any getting any legendary blueprint stuff here we got peter sickle that's that's you know terrible anyway let's see nothing okay so whatever we always we always gotta we always gotta rip open those for the videos okay it's always exciting when we do it in front of everyone oh did we get how many hammers did we get let me see if we get anything cool from that actually i uh got nothing okay i'm really looking for these these karak uh what is this the karak ceremony karak's humility blueprints these are just they're so hard to get for some reason i don't know anyway okay so update 1.0.44 is coming on march 10th now i did breeze through these bullet points very very briefly um i know all the rise of kingdoms youtubers have covered this basically this mail uh but i haven't been here so i haven't i haven't watched any of those videos i really i only know a little bit about what is in this mail here so we're gonna go over it mostly uh for the first time for me together here the first bullet point that is the most important is going to be coming about a week after this update comes out and that is what lilith is most excited about and that is the crossover with ninja gaiden 3. um i remember playing one of the ninja gaiden games um obviously for the nes way back in the day but also um some of the more like 3d ones for the xbox 360 i could never really get into them but i do know that there is sort of like a cult following for this uh and it's one of the most uh, classic classic infamous uh ninja style game so it should be exciting it should be cool and it looks like we'll we, we will be able to get some sort of cool uh, i guess event items and things like that now this doesn't really specify right it's it says that it's a limited time crossover event it says that there are uh, there's an assembling scrolls event essentially you're going to be able to collect scattered fragments and put them together to form the clan's secret scrolls at the same time earn great rewards such as avatar frames and name plaques cool it looks like there's going to be two different bundles here as well they're going to be available for a limited time and you can get lots of rare rewards no longer in circulation so i'm assuming that they mean uh more name plaques and you know avatar frames right those are no longer in circulation who knows uh, are we going to get a uh, you know a ninja styled uh you know commander in the game that would be cool i think that would be like super awesome like they did with lubu and dao chan right um i don't know like do we need another useless limited time legendary like lubu not really but hey if it's a good legendary then cool this doesn't mention anything about that though so i'm not really gonna get my hopes up let's take a look at the next bullet point here this is the optimizations to lost kingdom season of conquest so basically what they're saying here is that a lot of people in the community have given them suggestions and feedback and that is an understatement i think the entire community has been sort of up in flames ever since the uh you know heroic anthem and season of conquest has hit rise of kingdoms so yeah it looks like they've tried and tested many things continue to listen from from a lot of voices from the community in this version we've decided to reduce crystal buffs during the season of conquest add more ways to gain crystals and increase the number of crystals earned specific details are as follows so okay we're going to significantly increase the number of crystals dropped by barbarians and barb forts that's good the fact that they said significantly i'm hoping that they actually mean that because that's important this is great because this is a free to play way to get these crystals which is the most important thing right it, that's the most important thing is that free to play players or even low spenders can actually sort of feel like they're competing in this uh event and progress in the season of conquest increase the number of crystals awarded for completing bastion quests 
great reduce uh reduce the difficulty of bastion quest period okay cool reduce the refresh cooldown of bastion quest okay so it looks like they're going to be easier you're going to be able to do more of them right which is good that that gives people an incentive to kind of grind out the content if they don't have you know if they're a free-to-play player they have that incentive to grind out the content great reduce the power of season of conquest barbarians as well as the action point cost of attacking them this is important the reduction of action points uh is nice that means you can really just like chain barbarians forever which is nice um and reducing the power obviously they had to do that if they're going to re reduce the buffs that you get from the technology um that you're investing so this is this is expected basically with the other bullet points um st the strategic view of the world map will display the location of bastions fine uh reduce the duration of kahar the hidden to 30 minutes and that of kahar's treasure to 10 minutes okay so you can do kahar uh more times cool um the following changes will only take effect in season of conquest which begin after the update takes effect so if this update happens um while you're in season of conquest these effects will not uh take place so you'll have to wait till the next kvk so it looks like they've reworked the combat related buffs which can be obtained at the crystal research center so that's good again we knew this because they were going to reduce the power of the barbarians so that's good again some of these buffs were absolutely ridiculously broken overpowered just stupid right just absolutely dumb the fact that they even ended up in the game is crazy right um the second bullet point increased the con conversion capacity of crystal mines good greatly reduce the time it takes to upgrade the crystal mine and crystal research center this is good this means that you don't need as many speed ups which means that you know it seemed like even players who were hoarding forever still had to purchase purchase speed ups after two maybe three kvks right um maybe one or two most likely uh so that's really good right that's really really good and the fact again that they said greatly means that they knew that they way overdid it so hopefully they mean this word greatly hopefully they're not using this lightly we want to actually see it greatly reduced um greatly reduced the time it takes to research crystal technologies amazing again less speed ups required this is super super good added season quests which can be completed to earn a large number of speed up items okay so this is even better not only do you need less speed ups but they're actually adding a way to get more speed ups so thank you that's awesome that's that's i mean this is what we wanted right so all we can do now is hope that they are they are accurate with their use of this uh word here um added a lot of achievements which grant crystal chests when unlocked these chests can be used in the next season of conquest to gain crystals so i wonder if this is actually like the the actual achievement system here like are they gonna actually add like maybe um a, a, another like uh, area here or another category of achievements that says like crystal achievements or something um i don't really know how that how they are gonna do that or are they just talking about um they're using the word achievements to refer to an actual event that's going to be taking place while you're in season of conquest um similar to like looser and scrolls or something like that um i i don't really know but we'll have to wait and see but either way it says the fact that they added a lot of them which will help you with the next season of conquest is good and i think that this is important because a lot of people are saying like you know even if you've hit end game and you've you know accumulated all these speed ups and resources and all that good stuff uh you still can only participate like go all in on maybe one or two kvks so the fact that this is going to help you um will let you do more kvks back to back which is really good um, at the same time for any kingdom that begins the next season of conquest after the update 1.5 million crystals will be given to each governor to help them get off to a good start so this is great so we're going to start with a nice little buff there which is cool i guess that's kind of a way of saying like hey here's all the crystals you know use them see how the system works and 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 just basically play around it also looks like they're going to be sending out compensation items to governors from kingdoms who have already been in or are currently in a season of conquest please be sure to claim it so who knows you know what this compensation is going to be i feel like historically compensation items are haven't been that great unless they've like really nerfed a legendary or something like that most of the time the compensation items are you know 100 minutes of speed ups or something stupid like that so who knows hopefully this is actually worth it it's not going to affect me because i haven't I, i'm not going to be getting it but anyway um they also have optimized looser and scrolls so looser and scrolls um is interesting it's been a very um un, not unappealing but very like lackluster event like it just comes around and all the you know all the challenges are basically the same and you know if you're playing every day you're basically going to passively complete looser and scrolls all the time 
so yeah it's kind of just like boring and in the background so they're going to be changing it it's got a new display it looks like they're going to reduce it from eight weeks to five and the uh and the maximum quest level has been reduced to 50. so that's fine i mean every it's going to be reduced by three weeks so that's cool hopefully you're still going to get all of the rewards though because that's really important i think some of the rewards were good it just they it, this is true they were spread out over a ton of days like you know you could be on like uh, you know level 65 and you get five gold keys and i was like who gives a shit right so um yeah if it's the same amount of rewards in a smaller time frame i think that's good it actually will feel like you're making progress towards something and getting maybe multiple rewards on on multiple of the um uh, quest levels so um reducing the difficulty of the quests sure I, I i don't feel like a lot of them were that difficult some of the ones like the barbarian forts and stuff i just skipped them because you didn't need to do them to complete it anyway um you know maybe summoning you know two a legend or not one legendary is fine but like if it's three legendaries or something that's difficult because it's just rng and there's no way to just hoard, like unless you're hoarding gold keys then yeah but i don't know i don't feel like the quests were that difficult but you know i have 70 million power so maybe it is for other players i don't know um added quest rewards for ancestors legacy and divine inheritance so it sounds like not only are you going to um, unlock that second level um but there's going to be more rewards for doing so so that's cool i mean this doesn't help free to play players but um i you know buy that i buy that bundle every time it comes around so that's good for for you know the low spenders who do invest here um and it says you will now be able to purchase the arche archaeologist after purchasing treasure hunter so that's cool hopefully it's a it would be it would be nice if you just paid the difference but i have a feeling that they're not going to do that it's going to be a five dollar bundle and if you realize you messed up and you should have bought the 20 dollars bundle you'll probably still have to pen, spend 20 dollars instead of 15. but you know if they want a good guy greg us then we'll see um let's move on to the other changes it says we've noticed a number of issues with the kingdoms list and lost kingdom displays many governors have difficulty finding lost kingdom these issues have been resolved um after the update we've designed new screens for kingdomless and lost kingdom sure i i guess that's fine this has i mean i, I get i get that the kingdomless is very long and then you have to click on it to collapse it and you know I, I i actually this does make sense it's not that intuitive um or it is intuitive but it's very clunky like it's very you know spreadsheet like so yeah i guess it i guess this is good that they're they're updating it and making it more accessible to players who don't really like you know, maybe they haven't been playing for a long time um but is this really a priority i don't think so but cool i'm glad they're doing it um in order to enable more governors to recruit powerful late stage commanders and in order to promote a more balanced gaming environment we will be adjusting the pace of commander acquisition after the end of season three now once a kingdom finishes lost kingdom season three they can choose which commander sculptures they will receive as rewards in the following mightiest governor and wheel of fortune events so we already knew about this they already talked about this um i'm excited for this change to happen i still don't know what the next wheel of fortune commander i'm going to work on is because now i just have so many choices like I want to go for YSS, but also like I should probably just go for Guan Yu and just not invest universals in him, right? Um, because right now uh, it's way easier to get Wheel of Fortune commanders because you can do them more than three times, you can do them as many times as you want. So, it yeah, but Mightiest Governor, it's going to be even harder to get those commanders because now everybody's going to go for it every single time. So, I think you should be using your univer universals primarily on Mightiest Governor commanders, um, because again, they're just so much harder to get now um but yeah we'll have to wait and see this third bullet point says at the same time we'll be adding new ways to acquire commanders so that governors can access a, a as wide an array of commanders as soon as they enter season of conquest after a kingdom enters season of conquest the new legendary tavern event will take place in which governors have a chance to gain sculptures for any commander in their kingdom uh any commander their kingdom can already access for specific details and schedules please see the event page so we again we i think i mentioned this on the channel but we've seen this um event leaked on some other rise of kingdoms youtubers uh, channels this is an event that is exciting but i'm i'm cautious because it looks like it might be expensive like it might require a lot of keys or or time investment just to get like 10 heads right which again i'm not complaining the more ways to get heads the better absolutely 100 especially if you're going to be able to get the mightiest governor 
commanders from this because like i said mightiest governor is going to be very difficult now um so yes really good that this is coming to the game hopefully it's going to be an opportunity to where you can get a decent amount of commanders in a single season of conquest kvk right that was that would be my hope i hope that you don't have to play the whole season of, season of conquest and only get 10 sculptures right um but you know again it's it's good we'll we'll just have to wait and see but adding more ways to get legendaries is always good um the team the size of teams in the early crisis and in valid scenario battles will be increased from four to five and the difficulty of bosses will be adjusted accordingly this is good i actually like this change because this just reduces the number of scenarios that are started you know like it's going to be easier to find a random match i think so yeah i mean the fact that they're adjusting the difficulty i don't think this I, I, you know i don't think this is really going to change anything other than making matchmaking better so that's good resources protected by storehouses can no longer be transported i don't know like who cares what why who i don't i mean who cares like who cares whatever as the dust settles on the battlefield of osiris league season three season four is ready to begin with brand new rules more pre-match coverage and even more in-depth statistical analysis get ready for the greatest showdown ever stay tuned okay i am tuned and ready to win those oryx boys i am ready for more gambling that's what i i like osiris league for the gambling so that is exciting i hope this you know i'm i'm ready right i'm ready for this to begin um i don't know if this is too soon from the most recent one but i guess not it's been it's been a decent amount of time right who knows you know what's missing from this the skill lock feature so yeah i was more excited for the skill lock feature than anything else and it's not here and i know like i'm i sound like i'm complaining right because actually most of the stuff in here is actually really good like this is also this is really good stuff the season of conquest things is uh you know i'm i'm kind of pause champ with that right because we don't actually know they're saying they're using words like greatly right and you know uh significantly so you know i'm hoping that they mean it um and if they do then everything in this update is good right it's all good stuff this is all great i'm excited for it but i was hoping to see the skill lock feature come out uh at the same time right i wanted that skill lock feature to be included in this mail and it wasn't so that's a problem um you know i i guess it should be expected right but if we look back here i went to go find the uh the skill lock mail but i couldn't find it so i don't know if like they deleted it or i mean obviously they only keep mails for like you know a month or so so yeah i don't know i'm i i don't have it anymore but i was i feel like i remember them saying that it would come around 3 8 so this is coming around 3 10. now i know that they also mentioned that for the um wheel of fortune uh event so maybe i'm just mistaken and i thought they were both coming at the same time um but yeah i was really looking forward to the skill lock feature here and i could care less about like the ninja guide and shit, whatever it doesn't really matter um i just want to like reset my memed so i get a five five one five right i want to skill lock the second skill on my uh guan yu so that way i can actually start skilling him up more right i mean if you look i have 1235 legendary commander sculptures i'm just waiting to use them and i feel like i can't use them until that skill lock feature comes out and i know that they're gonna give you like they're gonna give you some resets or whatever i don't know but like we there's so much about the skill lock feature that we don't know right we don't know um is it gonna cost gems to lock a skill right like is it gonna be free is there gonna be an item that you have to use like for example a talent reset is an item that you can buy in the shop are you gonna have to buy a skill lock item and and what is that gonna cost is it gonna cost individual credits from your alliance is it gonna cost gems what is it gonna cost um because i don't want to start skilling up commanders like Wan Yu and then you know thinking okay well i'll just reset them later if i don't get a you know a, a spread that i like um and then then i find out that you know they only give you one or two resets and then you have to buy them for a thousand gems each after that or something like that right and for me that you know it's fine I, i'll just i'll spend the gems but um you know if it's ten thousand gems like it is for a civilization reset like that's a big different story right that's a big and bigger investment um that i still think would be worth it but you know still i don't if i can avoid spending that many gems i want to um and then also we don't know how many commanders skills you can lock simultaneous simultaneously what if you can only lock one legendary commander's skill set um at a time right like what if you can't have multiple commanders locked at the same time like they never specified any of these small details and so you know while it while you could say hey just spend those sculptures because you can reset it later it's like there's so much fine print and the devil's in the details and i just feel kind of paralyzed um in terms of like i don't want to make any wrong investments right now um and so 
yeah, I, I feel like we, we I wanted to see more information about that. I was hoping that it was coming soon, and it looks like it wasn't included in that mail. So uh, I have to assume that it's not going to be coming on 310, um, which means we've got a little bit more time to wait. Hopefully it comes like soon after because again it, i i feel like the entire like i feel like my entire account is on pause until that pretty much comes around right now obviously having the the wheel of fortune that i can pick and things like that that's going to help because i can start working on some other things while i'm waiting for that skill lock feature but um i really want to finish my guan yu at 5155 before i do anything else and uh yeah i'm kind of just like sitting here waiting to hear more about that but pretty much everything in the mail was good right everything in here was good stuff um i want to know are we going to get a ninja guide and legendary commander they didn't mention it but like that would be kind of cool right that would be kind of cool um i don't know i doubt it honestly because they didn't mention it here but we'll see i know there's a lot of actually achievements up here that like require you know collect a certain amount of avatar frames or whatever the case is so hopefully we'll be able to make some decent progress on those achievements um you know with this with this event here it's a limited time thing so um if you're a new player and you missed a lot of the old things a lot of the old avatar frames and name plaques and whatnot this will be a good opportunity to uh, to get them so we'll just have to wait and see what what are in these bundles is it going to be cool stuff and if there is a legendary commander or an epic commander that comes along with this crossover event um make it good don't make it a peacekeeper don't make it a gatherer dude don't make it something stupid it's gonna be if it's a ninja bro like come on let's make it something badass anyway um guys that's pretty much it for this video again if you didn't see the poll where i was asking you guys uh kind of what type of videos you want to see from me i think i'm going to keep doing more of that so if you want to participate in that and you don't want to miss it make sure you subscribe to the channel click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video as always drop a thumbs up on the video it really does help out the channel a ton and comment down below what you're most excited about for this upcoming patch are you excited and happy about these upcoming changes do you think they didn't do enough other things that are missing i would love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below as always my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter discord facebook all that good stuff it's always in the description and if you ever see me taking a bit of a hiatus here on youtube you can probably find out what i'm doing over on instagram that's kind of where i posted all the stuff from like la when i went on my trip and stuff so it's not stuff you'll see on youtube but you will see it over there so make sure you follow me everywhere finally there's a link in the description below to download rise of kingdoms absolutely for free for your pc or your mac it's a program called blue stacks and it's my favorite way to play rise of kingdoms and honestly you're going to experience fewer crashes and the game just looks beautiful on a bigger screen so i think you're at a disadvantage if you're not playing on a bigger screen so like i said it's free click the link give it a try with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni arc i will talk to you guys again soon peace